So <clears throat> this year is the first year I've ever done any Enduros. And the, basically the reason is um, in GNCC, there's some tight wood stuff and there's some fast wood stuff and there's grass track. Um, I'm good in the fast woods and the grass track. The tight woods, I'm not so good at. And picking lines, I'm not the best at because we didn't have to do that in motocross. You know, you don't have to pick lines, not like an off-road. And um, so I've decided to do a couple of Enduros this year. Um, the first one went terrible. The second one went better. And then I did this last one in um, Indiana, the Black Coal up in Linville at the um, it's old coal mines. And I uh, kind of went up there just another kind of um, you know another weekend to get some practice in and it's a it's a hard day it's a long day you ride six or seven hours total and um, so it was, it's good training also you know like I said good for line choices and all that the first test I I was second and I was like huh, all right that's cool because we've never been that that close up to the front second test I won third test I won I'm like this is going pretty well you know and uh I don't know, fourth, fifth test, I'm not sure, I can't remember what happened, but we uh, we had a good day. I won, I ended up winning the last test also. We, I knocked a hole in my clutch cover. Thought I would, that was the end of it for me because I thought all the oil was gonna come out, somehow it didn't. Huskies are tough. And uh, I, we won, man. I, I never expected in my life to win a National Enduro, especially after the first one I did this year. I felt like a sea rider. I felt like this is not the sport for me and I'll never be good at it. I just hated it that much because it's so tight. <clears throat> to come back and win one, it was huge. It was a big accomplishment for me to, for something I struggled so badly at to, to start with, my first one, and then to get a win. Um, national, winning the National Enduros, you know, not a lot of guys have done that. Um, you know, I mean, a lot of guys have done it, but you gotta be, you know, one of the top guys. So for, for me to be able to do it, um, Super pumped. I was really happy with that. So, uh, we decided we're going to race my Razor. Um, she's bone stock, but Pooh's been having, getting a little practice in back home driving it, so we figured we'd come out and see if we can't finish this thing without breaking. Tell me about what you're going to do for the passenger seat. What I'm going to do in the passenger seat, I'm just going to tell him where to go. Probably like put on goggles for him. Maybe wipe his goggles off if he needs it. Uh, tell him to go faster or slow down if I think he's gonna crash. I mean, just every, the everyday things that a co-pilot does. Well, we're about to race a razor race at uh, GNCC, and what we're about to accomplish is winning. Duh, that's what you try to accomplish every time you go out. We're last. If we're not first, we're broken. So we, uh, we decided the week before Ironman that we wanted to race my Razor um, in the, they have a UTV class. And uh, mine is, it's an 800S, completely stock. So we, uh, we decided we were gonna race it. We did a couple things to it, kind of, you know, greased everything, freshened it up and uh, put in the fire extinguisher and the nets on the doors and all that stuff. And uh, my brother and I, he drove, I, He's a better driver than me on, on in this thing, so I figured I would just ride co-pilot and just have some fun, and we did. We had a blast. We uh, we ended up getting second in our class and um, with a flat front the last half a lap, and uh, it was a good time. It, it was a whole new gave me a whole new respect for the top guys in that in that sport because their their cars are amazing and they they can drive and they uh, they come around us like we're sitting still. And I know theirs is faster and everything, but they can drive better too. So. It was cool, a lot of fun, and um, you know, it's cool to have this razor and be able to, to go out there and do it and have a little have a little fun with my brother. So Iron Man is the last GNCC of the year. It's always the biggest one. They're, they've set, you know, every year it's a new record for how many racers show up, how many fans show up. The, the course is awesome. It's the best course that we race all year. Um, the, it's got a little bit of everything. The dirt's awesome. The um, it's got creek crossings and big hill climbs and stuff. And there's always a big, huge crowd of people at all the hill climbs. It's a pretty cool race, and uh, it's always the biggest one, like I said. And uh, it's always you know you want to go there and do well. It's the last one. You want to end the year on a good note, and you want to uh, set the tone. You know that's the last thing people remember about you leading into next year. So want to go out there and just uh, and do good. 
It started out good. Um, you know, I was about fourth off the start. Within three corners, I was in the lead, past the lead, into the lead before we got into the woods, and and uh, <clears throat> felt good, man. Um, I was, like I said, had a lot of frustration built up, and I was ready to pin it, and I was, and I went down, got up, passed back in the lead, went down, and that happened two or three times. And uh, anyway, I spent a lot of energy catching back up from those crashes because I'd get up and I couldn't see the guy, so I'd just go as fast as I possibly could, and then I'd catch him and. All right, sweet, I caught him, pass him, you know, and then crash again. And it was just a lot of energy that I've wasted falling down that many times. Um, I know I'm pretty good at falling down. I'm trying to work on that. But uh, I made another little mistake. Aspirin kind of caught up to me. Uh, I passed him back and, and was able to pull away and get second, you know. So it wasn't too bad, but, <clears throat> you know, take out five crashes, and I think I could have had a win. So it's... Uh, it's one of them things I gotta I gotta work on maybe my aggression a little bit, just bring it down a notch every once in a while. Uh, maybe just stay on my motorcycle for change. That would probably probably um, result in better finish. Yeah, it's cool, man. Work on timing and if I can control this little bitty bike, keep from crashing, maybe I can control the bigger one with a motor. I'm just really proud of what we were able to accomplish. And it's not just me, it's my mom, my dad, my wife, um, Stryker and Jeff, my guys that's been, that have helped me on the bikes, um, Rhino, uh, just everybody, my brother. Um, it's just been, I'm proud of what we've done. We beat a lot of the factory guys and we, we did it on a private effort. Um, we, we did some cool things, so. Um, really excited about the opportunities, that the opportunities that that's given me now to sign with Coastal Racing for next year. Uh, I'll be on Husqvarna again. Um, excited about that. I'll be with MSR again and Air Group and you know a lot of the Rockstar, a lot of the same people you know that have been helping me out. I just won't be doing everything now. And I'm excited to get back to being a rider and um, just being the best I can be in uh, only winning a championship. Um, yeah, if it's not next year, maybe it's the year after, but I'm going for it. So I really, really want to thank everybody that's helped me out this year. All my sponsors, um, all the people that have helped me out. Um, Air Group Radiant Logistics, Rockstar Energy, Husqvarna Motorcycles, MSR, Liat, Dragon, Dunlop, FMF, Maxima, Acherbys, Renegade Fuels, Spider Graphics, Steve Hatch Racing, Aero Helmets, Recluse Clutches, Mika Handlebars, FPS Radiators, W wheels, asterisk knee braces, Sunstar chain and sprockets, XL rims, Guts Racing, seats, DEI components, Garnet boots, Galfer brakes, Super B batteries, TM Design Works, IMS tanks, DT1 filters, ARC levers, and Hammer Nutrition. I want to really thank you fans for watching. Um, it's been fun having you along for the ride and kind of sharing with you what goes on uh, behind the scenes and in the scenes of my racing in my life. Uh, appreciate you watching and uh, look forward to seeing you again next year.